Hello everybody, I'm Giuseppe Basilio, also known as the Fib Stalker, and uh, uh, today is Sunday, uh, October the 30th, 2016, and it's uh, 11 p.m. EST time here in Toronto. And in this brief video, I'm going to review for you all the uh, euro-related pairs, the majors. Uh, there are seven pairs, euro-dollar, the euro-pound, the euro-swiss franc, the euro Australian dollar, the euro-canadian dollar, the euro-new zealand dollar, the euro-japanese yen. So let's start from the uh, weekly chart of the euro-dollar. I want to remind you, you can find me at Fibstalker on Twitter and my website is fibstalkertrading.com. Uh, when we uh, when we look at the euro, you will remember that this market is moving laterally uh, below an area of uh, resistance from that money. It's a monthly area, and that's the area that you see here. And every time then the market came into this area, has been rejected. More most, more recently, it's been rejected in uh, August, September, and again August. And we saw uh, two weeks ago. Uh, you will remember we saw this move lower here. Now this market has the potential to retrace all the ways into lows as we indicated last week and this scenario is still valid it's valid more than ever and uh, if you remember my uh, review last week i mentioned that this market what is in a sequence uh, of uh, measure move from highs to lows and um, initially this uh, 12 the area shot starting at 112.44 has not been respected and then eventually the uh, shorts uh, became stronger and stronger here they were capable of pushing price into the first target that is measure moving it even the second target and last week uh, I uh, mentioned before the fact well before the fact a few days before the fact I mentioned this level and as you can see the market went into that level. I saw a lot of, I read a lot of reactive comments in relation to um, to uh, the euro when the euro was here. People were saying that it was going down, and when the euro was uh, here, people were saying that uh, it was still was going down. Uh, but the the um, the, uh, the euro went higher into the next area, which is controlled by Algos, and that's one o nine. 90 and I gave this level before the fact you can check that on Wednesday so this is Friday uh, Thursday last uh, Wednesday with this bar here I mentioned a lot of people were looking at this price and say this is going to continue lower but I mentioned that um, in order for the price to continue lower you have to have participation from Algos and that participation was only at the level that start um, started get the participation lower here. Now, it doesn't mean that the market will just drop like a rock. It's possible for this level to be revisited and um, uh, however, uh, whenever, uh, whenever um, this market will be ready, it will continue lower and we have two targets now. The first target is going to be uh, uh, 107.90 here and the second target is going to be 106.90 uh, and I have given these levels last Wednesday on FS Street as well. So very good opportunity to get involved even here with a stop above highs even higher above 110.19 um, or take a, a smaller position and um, uh, and make that uh, stop even larger there. So Euro Pound, we are uh, we are assisting. We are looking at a market which has uh, has moved very very um, strongly higher here. But uh, this market uh, might uh, have uh, might be uh, might be in a situation where it does not have. A lot of uh, fuel to continue until it retraces, and we could be starting seeing this the start of this retrace here, just the potential to bring price into this area controlled by by um, a long dump money here, which would actually uh, which actually coincides with uh, with an area which is controlled by algos, and that's the 0.8630. So if the market moves briskly to get a reaction and then eventually get into an area where we know there is solid participation from um, from Algos and that could be our next, our long continuation in this market. The daily shows that if this market gets here into this um, 
daily a damp long area here and, and pierces it then it's going to move very quickly into 8670 and close to that 8630 that i've mentioned on the weekly the euro swiss franc is actually uh, moving um, is actually has moved uh, higher in a reaction higher last week and at the moment it might have resumed its uh, its move lower so let's look at this market you remember that we traded this market to a previous uh, uh, to previous low here but we mentioned that this market could move into 107.14 why is that because there's no long participation before we get into the level and the level will be a second test anyway so it's going to be a dangerous test so well, uh, which means that we don't know whether that level is going to hold or not but here there is an opportunity for a continuation lower at least from current price which is uh, 108 uh, 39 here 35 um, to 107.14 so there's a little bit then 100 pips 120 pips of opportunity there and this is something that you want to consider here when we move to the daily we clearly see that there is um, there is uh, resistance on the daily and that's represented by the um, by this daily um, damp money area here and uh, this market is also trading uh, a potential extension short here as you can see so there is convergence of interest of bulls and bears so when that happens this is always a very important uh, kind of uh, development because uh, all the uh, players here are basically pushing this market uh, lower so that's a good opportunity here for a short into first target at uh, 107.70 and potentially second target 107.26 uh, that's the opportunity for this week okay next uh, we look at the euro australian dollar and uh, the euro australian dollar has actually went to trade right into that first target and as you remember last week um, the level was tested and the actual 140 uh, 69 uh, level 70 level here was not tested though and this market could have started its move lower uh, it would be uh, more interesting and probably safer to see this market retesting the next measure move here before continuing lower and that again will bring the interest of uh, smart money and uh, dump money uh, together um, along uh, with this uh, align with this area starting at 146 13 here so if we see this market moving higher uh, i'm gonna take no action here but this market uh, moves higher into the 146.12 we could see a continuation lower into uh, that 146.69 and if that, that doesn't hell, uh, hold um, that target that we mentioned some time ago the 138 139 um, level there so nothing to do here really although this market could continue lower there are safer shorts at the moment because this market could also continue higher and retest at 146.12 um, as you can see on the daily here this market is as tested uh, the upper band of the daily uh, bear uh, dump bear money here but this could actually find support as well and continue higher as well so that's not something i'm interested in in uh, discovering with the money uh, in the uh, in the market when we look at um, when we look at the euro canadian dollar the canadian dollar obviously has been a week um, all over the board here and so uh, there was no really interest in uh, in uh, in shorting this market you remember that i mentioned this long and strong area monthly uh, of monthly damp monthly money here which is interested in pushing this price higher 
and in fact after this uh, one week we saw mid of, mid of October here the market moved lower we didn't see any continuation into one uh, one um, thirty eight fifty three so this market has a lot of overhead resistance um, above it uh, due to um, you know how algos are positioned but at the same time uh, it has support uh, below it so uh, and that's for damp money but monthly uh, players so uh, this market uh, uh, has the potential to continue laterally or even higher into 151 38 so leave this market alone for now there are better markets to uh, to trade and we will wait for this market to clear up a little bit the euro uh, new zealand dollar this market uh, has been moving uh, lower you will remember that we were attempting and attempted a short here or uh, planning uh, planning one and um, but I also mentioned that once we saw the price around this level I mentioned that this was a first target and we saw once twice three times four and now five times this market bouncing out of that level now the bear uh, weekly bear uh, damp bear money here is still interested in shorting this market we saw that participation there but the um, and there is still room to certainly move into that second target 141.54 however uh, there was a strong uh, signal here for shorting before uh, three weeks ago here we don't see the same at the moment uh, at least on the weekly time frame and and uh, this market is actually within an area short uh, on the daily uh, but um, um, you know that interest is not yet matched by algos here which are a little bit higher into 154 uh, 30. we also have to mention that this market has been moving laterally so we can actually move into all the way into the the um, the upper uh, the upper bound of this area 157.60 here so not really a market that offers a strong edge at the moment we have other opportunities and again we will uh, leave this market if this market gets into 154.30 we want to test the level and see whether this is going to offer opportunities to uh, short and, um, and we will look at that market in that way so testing the 154.30 and check whether it's going to be a continuation lower Next and last market of this section is going to be the Euro versus the Japanese Yen. This market um, has been a, a market that um, uh, we have followed along with uh, all the all other all a couple of other pairs that are trading against the Japanese Yen, like the Australian dollar Japanese Yen and New Zealand dollar Japanese Yen, in which we have uh, trades and. Uh, this market is actually working out very much like the New Zealand dollar and Australian dollar versus Japanese yen have been doing in the last few weeks and it's actually working out this uh, short interest from bear money here and so far has been a pretty uh, successful here in fact we could see a continuation higher if this level is broken on the upside here into what into the 11661 so we are 115 116 it's in the um, near the upper bound of that weekly um, 26 EMA here now the point is that if this market on the other hand retraces um, and continues lower for alpha obviously it's, it's finding support this 13 uh, weekly EMA here but should that uh, be lost this market could actually come and uh, also get the support from daily uh, uh, bull money uh, smart money long and and so the um, the support uh, at 114.44 for this market seems very strong and there are if that is tested there are two targets above that are comparable with um, the uh, the weakness we're seeing in the Japanese yen in the last few weeks along with the Canadian dollar 
and uh, that strength we were we saw uh, on Friday was related to that move lower of the US dollar all right so this is it for this section thanks a lot for uh, for watching this review and I hope you'll find opportunity especially in the euro dollar opportunity for this week to to actually um, take a stab at this market to trade it uh, uh, short this market uh, remember that there was very very strong move on Friday it might not reverse uh, immediately but this market uh, according to the recent development it should actually eventually continue lower Thanks for watching.